Ready, me and Tess the cheap eyeshadow palette versus the expensive one. <laughs> We're testing a beauty bay one. It's been through absolute wars, but anyway, I'd ignore that. Um, but that's the palette as well. It's yeah, it's it's been through a lot, but it has loads of colours in it. Was a Tess and a Jeffrey one, which are quite expensive and is in okay condition. It's still a bit dodgy, but it's not as bad as the beauty bay one. This Jeffrey palette actually retails for sixty euro. I was like, oh my god, it's so expensive, but yeah, sixty euro for this palette. Mmm, expensive. <laughs> This Beauty Bay one retails for like 25 euro. It's been through a lot, so that's why it's been through a lot. <laughs> so I prepped my eyes just with purple. So I find this purple, there's a lot of fallout with it, but it's called Gumdrop anyway. So it's like a lavender purple, and we're going to do pink and purple eyeshadow. So we're just starting with the Jeffree side. This is on this side, and this is the purple. It's coming out really nice, and it's blending really well so far. Okay, so the Jeffree one actually blended out so nicely, and the pigment is so stunning. So now we're going to do the Beauty Bay one on this side. Colour Living for Lavender, sh this shadow. It's blended out really nice so far. The colour looks a little different. Okay, so both of the lavenders are on. They look totally different. One looks blue, one looks pink, but that doesn't matter. But like, I have to say they blend so nicely together. Now, the Jeffrey one is better, 100%, because this one is more powdery. You can see the little powderiness of it. God, did I even speak English there? But like, look at the blend of this one compared to this one. So now we're starting with the Jeffrey pink called Bubblegum, and it's blending so nicely so far. Oh my God, it's so stunning. Oh my God. Look at the blend of that though. Wow, it's not powdery at all. It looks so nice. Oh my God. Now we're going to test the beauty bait on the side. I'm blending the shadow out and I find it's more patchy than the other one, but it's still not. We're just applying this matte shade called Virgin on the eye. It looks actually really pigmented as well. A little patchier than the others. I'm just applying the white on the Beauty Bay side. It's a little more patchier, I find it's a lot more dry. But I feel like it's the same for both, but they still look nice, both of them. So guys, I'm going to finish off the rest of the eyeshadow. I'm going to let you know my final thoughts on both of the eyeshadow palettes. So guys, this is the final look. Let me know what you think in the comments below. In my opinion, the look looks so nice. It's just very glam, but I have to say, the, like, the Jeffree Star side is a lot better. It's more clean, and it's more easier to apply. Like, the Bishi Bay one is harder to blend. I find it takes a lot longer. It's more powdery, and it's not as good coverage. So, I do recommend the Jeffree one over the Beauty Bay, but the Beauty Bay is cheaper, so do what you want, and let me know what you think in the comments below. His lawyers, former President Donald Trump today, pleaded not guilty to a multi-count indictment in federal court in Miami. Trump facing charging classified documents in his Mar-a-Lago estate. NPR's Kerry Johnson says it appears the prosecution wants to move forward quickly. Yeah.